Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, what I'd like to do is show you how to factor this expression. Now, this one's not a very bad one um, that we're going to work on. So to go ahead and factor, and the reason why it's not a very bad one is because I see that the only factors for 5 are 5 and 1, and the only factors for 2 are 2 and 1. So I can easily probably go and do this in my head, and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do that. Now, before I get to that, though, whenever I'm dealing with factoring, I always like my a to be positive. So I'm going to factor out a negative 1 first. So factor out a negative 1, and therefore I'm left with 5x squared plus, sorry, 5 at positive 5x squared minus 7x plus 2. OK. So now what I want to do is I still want to be able to see, can I factor this even further? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into two factors, right? Because that's basically factoring is breaking it down to a product of its factors. And I know that to get 5x, I have to have 5x times x, right? And to get positive 2, well, I only have four different ways. I could, uh, well, two different ways. I could do positive 2 times positive 1 or negative 1 times negative 2. And the position of those, it could be positive 1, positive 2, or it could be positive 2, positive 1. It could be negative 1, negative 2, or negative 2, negative 1. So I only really have four different cases that I can use to determine uh, which one is going to be correct or where the, the correct placement is going to be. However, what I notice is my middle term is negative, right? So since my middle term is negative, I'm not going to be able to multiply positive numbers and then add those positive numbers to make it negative. So I really basically only have two cases, right? These are really only my two factors. Now again, so we, let's double check. Does negative 1 times negative 2 give us positive 2? Yes. Does negative 2 times negative 1 give us positive 2? Yes. 5x times x, 5x squared. 5x times x, 5x squared, right? So it works. So now what I need to do is just say, well, what inner and outer terms, when I multiply and combine them, are going to add to give me negative 7x? And what you'll notice is this one right down here works. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor a trinomial um, by using your head. Thanks.